Good afternoon everyone. Just thought I'd do a quick video, quick run round of the Sylvia, show you how it's set up. A real basic drift car. Running Origin Racing Line, 50 mil overs, type 2 side skirts, and Origin Wing. Wheel size is 18 by 9.5 with 265 Zestinos. And 17 by 9 with 235. Uh, they're accelerators at the moment, but they're pretty dead, so I'll be changing those to Zestinos when they're done. Bumper's hanging off as usual. I have to take it off for storage, so I didn't want to fit it just for the video, unfortunately. Sorry. Um, but yeah, as for the ride height, yeah, the car's pretty high, especially at the front. But I'm 40 years old, I've been drifting for 20 years, and I'm kind of burnt out on fixing cars up all the time. But this way I don't have to worry about munching through wiring looms, I haven't had to relocate it into the engine bay. I haven't had to smash the arches to bits with a big hammer. I haven't had to, you know, do any modifications to the chassis whatsoever, really. I can still have loads of steering lock. It doesn't bind up, it doesn't rub or scrub. It goes up and down on the truck. When you go off circuit, you don't blow all the air off straight away. It's just an easier life. And like I say, I'm pretty lazy. I just want the car to work. And it works really well like this. Uh, the setup's similar to what they run in Japan. And yeah, it just works. So it's a win-win for me, and I still think it looks quite good. I can't get it all in shot, but purposeful and aggressive. I think it's fine, I quite like it. So there we are. Rear suspension is CS2s with all Driftworks adjustable arms, Nismo anti-roll bars, and a 4.3 welded diff. Up front we've got 65mm bolt-on spacer, Driftworks kink tension arms, Nismo anti-roll bar, stock low control arm, B-knuckle and a um, stock steering arm that's been extended just to match a modified knuckle. Uh, it's nearly full lock on the knuckle, it's got a bit more to give. Basic interior. One bucket seat, one harness, a hole where the stereo was, some Defi gauges, some Yashio factory bits. Mm. Under the bonnet, stock SR, front mount intercooler, standard T28R, old unequal length manifold, um, running 0.9 bar. Had to move inside now, um, but in terms of geometry, at the rear, it's all pretty rough, um, but it's close enough. Got zero toe, maybe a slight bit of toe in. There's a dog. Um, half a degree negative camber. Up front, we've got about negative six degrees camber. Um, two mil per side toe out. Uh, caster's about six. There, thereabouts. It's about as far back as you can get before you have to, you know, completely demolish the inner wheel wells to get the wheels to turn. Um, quite like the way low caster feels they always have on Nissans, and adding the spacer on there makes it uh, feel pretty nice. You have to throw it onto lock, which is good. And then, um, yeah, it's also quite easy to drive with this setup. And that's about it, really. That's as much as there is to it. Um, the car's got stock bushes most of the in most places like engine mount, gearbox mount, um, clutch delay valves still in there. I just think these are little things that you can leave stock so that it makes your rear end uh, drive line survive. You're running 265 semi slick tyres. You're gonna obviously run the risk of breaking shafts and stuff. But hopefully, oh, there they go. Being idiots. Hopefully with the stock bushes and a bit of compliance in the system, it's not going to munch through as many things as it perhaps might. 
And yeah, that's about it. Cheers, guys.